he sort of wanted her to be both sweet and kind, but also pragmatic and practical. And like, to ha there's like a st strength, almost edge to her, but there is a warmth in her as well. He wanted this beautiful mix of a qu of qualities in this one character, and and I liked the challenge of being able to do that. We still wanted to keep the blue, uh, but we wanted to to make it feel magical all the way around. So everything from the makeup to the hair, we, there are crystals in my hair and crystals on my ears. And I was able to keep a lot of my piercings in, be just replaced it with really beautiful um, earrings that the costume designer made actually. And, and she was so much fun because we sort of tried loads of different things about what could work and what might not. And um, the dress is just layers and layers of silk and, it wanted to feel ethereal and whimsical and as fairy-like as we could possibly make it. I just wanted for anyone to hear it, uh, to understand that dreams can come true and that I believe that as well. When you listen to the song, I want you to believe that I believe what I'm singing. Um, so that was the approach really, just to be as truthful as possible. That's really all this is about. Most of the job that I do or we do as actors or singers is to try and tell the truth. And that is whether you're on a set, on a stage or singing a song. And this was no different. I just wanted, I wanted whichever adult or whichever kid happens to hear this song to also think, oh, maybe she might be right. Maybe dreams come true if you wish upon a star. As Cynthia, I. I would encourage people to dream and I encourage people to wish and to believe in it and to offer up those wishes and dreams to the universe. And as the Blue Fairy, I get to do that as well. And I think it's really wonderful because I think partially it was, it's me in that film going, do it, you should wish and you should dream because it's possible. <laughs>